All right, everyone, stepping outside on a Friday evening, it still feels a little bit like summer. Temperatures have been soaring this afternoon back into the mid 90s. We're still in the 90s across the board. It's 93 here in the metro with a mostly clear sky, a little haze out there developing some clouds uh, in the heat of the day. But none of these clouds going to produce any rain showers, so we're dry for the rest of your Friday. And that feels like temperature also around 93 degrees right now. If you are headed out and about for this evening, maybe doing some grilling, probably just going to need those sunglasses for the next couple of hours. Temperature steady in the lower 90s. The sun sets just before 7 o'clock, so we're talking uh, getting a little darker. Temperatures will start to fall 89 by 7 and 8 o'clock tonight. Still probably just going to need the short sleeves, maybe even the air conditioning inside at 85 for the outdoor outside temperature. Now we have the stalled boundary to our north. We've been talking about it essentially all week long. High pressure has been in control for us, but finally we have this cold front to track. It's well off to our west for now. It's going to take a couple of days to get here through the course of the weekend. So that's why we're really focusing on next Monday and Tuesday to be the two transitional days when that cooler weather does arrive. In the meantime, still looking at lots of sunshine and clear skies here locally. So here's what we're tracking beginning at 5 p.m. Notice the temperatures stay pretty steady in the lower 90s for the next couple of hours. By 10 o'clock tonight, as most of us are well, wrapping up those high school football games, getting home for tonight, temperatures dropping through the 70s. Overnight, the sky stays mostly clear. We wake up tomorrow morning, a lot of 70s on the map. Around 73 in Memphis, 69 in Somerville. Same deal up in Covington, around 69 degrees. Tomorrow afternoon, this is when things start to heat back up. This particular weather model really likes the, the increasing moisture with this. I do not think we're going to see any rain. We have so much dry air close to the surface. Showers do look uh, to be extremely limited. So I'm just going to go with a little bit more of a muggy forecast and lower 90s for daytime highs on Saturday. Now we're heading into the weekend. The second half of your weekend comes Sunday. Still no changes. The sky stays mostly clear and same deal on Sunday heading into the afternoon. We're back into the lower 90s. I do expect us to stay mainly dry through the second half of your weekend. The better chance of rain arrives when this cold front finally approaches, and it will do so during the course of the day on Monday. This is Monday afternoon around 1 p.m. The front passes through. We'll see a few scattered showers out of this, and then by Tuesday morning, the front's already going to be through. So forecast for overnight tonight, mostly clear 74, still a little muggy, and then we're back to 94 for your Saturday. A little, uh, a little humid on the humid side, I should say, heading into your Saturday afternoon. Sunday, again, no changes, still mostly sunny. The weekend it looks hot, but great. Now, Monday, that's when things change. Scattered showers move through. The front will impact temperatures, a high of only around 83. And then comes Tuesday, much cooler. We're talking a high in the upper 70s, 15 to 20 degrees cooler than where we were today.